The Diablo Paddle Sports Adios weighs in at 69 pounds dry, is 12 and a half feet long, and has a 36 inch width. It is made out of thermoformed ABS and has a weight capacity of 600 pounds. Grant Broderick here with the Fishwater Bros and Diablo Paddle Sports, giving you a uh, boat breakdown of the 2016 Diablo Paddle Sports Adios with the Marine Mat. So basically what I want to do is start from the front of the boat, the bow, and work our way to the stern. The Adios comes with a stand assist strap that I like to use as a ported strap in the front of my kayak. It also comes with bungee straps to hold your paddle down, and I always like to carry a light with me to be in accordance with state law and to also be safe. The front hatch opens up. Fly box. Conventional tackle box down inside of here. box for storage, keys, wallet, anything important can go in here. This hatch is perfect for storing extra gear. I like to put my tackle down inside here as well as I keep a dry bag with extra clothes. When I go on long trips I take camping bags, uh, hammocks, extra food, extra rods. It's not completely dry but it will keep 90% of the water out. As we make our way into the cockpit of the boat, you can see it's a very open floor plan. On my right side here, I like to keep my paddle and the Yak Attack Roto Grips mounted with two 8 inch gear tracks. Keeps my paddle secure and in easy access. The Larry Chair is one of my favorite parts of this boat. Raises you up off the deck and makes fishing a breeze. The Marine Mat is great non-slip noise dampening material. Uh, it also reduces heat on the boat and makes for an all day comfortable stand. I went ahead and added a bungee strap to the front of my uh, cockpit area to hold rods in place. Uh, before I had issues with kicking rods around and was worried that they were going to fall out of the boat. With this in place, it ensures that the rod is going to stay in the cockpit. I can keep multiple rods in front of me for ease of use uh, when casting different lures. Uh, very, very practical solution right here. Got my fish finder set up with a ram arm. Uh, with the transducer over the side. That way when I'm not using it, I can swing it up inside the boat and it's not in the way at all. Here's my basic fish finder setup. I took a ram transducer arm and cut it short to meet flush with the bottom of the boat. Um, the cords run up the side of the arm and through the hole of my Diablo with a Hobie through hole kit. I sealed with some marine goop and the cores just run straight into the back of my fish finder. When all this is not in use, I simply remove the Lorance fish finder, fold up the uh, transducer arm inside the boat, and everything's out of the way. I like to keep all of my fishing tools uh, connected to my Larry chair with a carabiner. I've got a, uh, a hook release, I'm getting uh, hooks out of fish's mouth, got a Rapala tube scale, I've got some line cutters, um, and also a boga grip. I also like to keep my paddle attached to the same carabiner. Anything that's not attached to the boat, if you happen to tip or go over, is gone. Also keep a six foot parking pole that I made out of a steel rod. It's got a float on it in case I drop it for shallow water. Uh, my anchor trolley runs along the side here. Got it connected to a chain. I can move it fore and aft very easily. Helps control boat position and wind and current. Um, I also like to keep a brush clip on hand, uh, that way I can attach to a stump, tree, anything that's within arm's reach uh, if I don't want to drop anchor. Very practical, very easy to make, and works well. This next piece of equipment has saved my butt many a times. It's a simple fish stringer connected to a piece of cord. It's got a carabiner that's connected to my boat. It allows me, when I catch a big fish, to hook him to the stringer clip. It doesn't harm him at all. I drop him down in the water and he can swim and get water and get air while I get my camera gear ready, uh, anything to weigh him, measure him, all that good stuff. Now we've arrived at the seat, uh, which is the Larry Chair and the Diablo Paddle Sports uh, line. Uh, as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff mounted to my seat. 
we got two extra rod holders here that also hold a drink. They're perfect for holding a beer. Um, these cup holders are great on the side. I found that these keep things up out of the way. They keep your beer from bouncing around or whatever, your water from bouncing around. Uh, I always have a life jacket. It, this comes off very easily. I can get to it. Um, then I have, of course, a hot trough. Uh, very easy accessible right here behind me when I need it. I've got my water system set up into a backpack. Uh, pretty much like a camel bag type setup. Uh, that way I always have water accessible. Also inside of this backpack I carry snacks, uh, anything that I might need for the day. Um, now this seat here will set down like this. And this is where I have uh, you know, there's an extra tackle bag here. It's got a whole bunch of different lures, uh, all my worms, stuff like that inside of here attached to the seat. Uh, again, everything on my boat is attached to the actual boat. If you do tip over and fall out, you're going to lose whatever is not attached to your actual craft. Um, you can see I got the Yeti set up back here. Um, my beers, everything's right behind my seat. I can get to it when I need it. When I'm standing up and need to get to it, I can set this back up. Pretty simple setup here. Um, it works, works really well. Alright guys, here you see we've arrived at the back of the boat. This is where my crate is, obviously all my fishing rods. Say this might be a little bit too excessive, but for what I like to do, I like to have ample rods. Uh, I can carry, believe it or not, as you can see, uh, eight rods in the actual crate, nine with an extra rod, tube holder here, and then I've got uh, my pistol mount here for my fly rod, and I've got my two rods up front. So I can carry a total of about 12 rods on any given day in the boat. I've also added integrated carabiner clips and attached them to the actual crate, which is attached to the boat. I can clip on this rod secure. So that way this rod cannot come out, essentially. It's attached to the boat. I have one for every rod that I would carry. They're all can be attached. Uh, it does that for a little bit extra weight, but it's totally worth it in the long run. Also got my net set up here, very simply. Um, got it on a bungee setup so that I can reach up here, get a fish, put it back without having to worry about losing the net setup or falling in the water. Again, these are just set up on gear tracks right here on the side of the boat. As far as storage inside of my actual crate, I've got it strapped down so it's actually kind of acts like a lid. I took an old cutting board and just cut this to fit the top of the crate. Inside I've got extra baits, anchor, any supplies I might need, marine glue, any storage that can be there that's going to be wet storage. Another very important feature is my camera pole setup. I made this myself and it's got an X-grip arm. It fits my phone and allows me to retract and raise up my camera position. Very practical, very simple to make. This also doubles as a light pole when I'm traveling at night. Come to the back of the boat, got the skeg. Uh, this is super important for tracking. Got my skeg line run through um, my drain plug to the side here and to a clam cleat to allow it to come up and down as I need it. Uh, very simple, got dry hatch storages here. Again, the cooler system, all the rods set up, seat. Um, I really like uh, these um, Jack Attack paddle holders. They keep everything streamlined and in place as I'm paddling down. Uh, so that's pretty much the rundown of my boat. Got another anchor trolley on this side. That was for boat position. As you can see, the Diablo Paddle Sports Audios is a very versatile and stable platform. You can rig it up for all your fishing needs, or you can simply break it down and use it as a paddleboard to take out to the lake with your friends. To find out more about Diablo Paddle Sports and how to get your own, visit them at DiabloPaddleSports.com or ask a fishwater bro.
Thanks for tuning in and watching the Diablo Paddle Sports Audios Boat Breakdown. Once again from the Fishwater Bros, tight lines and good vibes. See you on the water.